evening welcome to our service of Compline and as we bring this day to a close a bit of thanksgiving that uh, Charles has been off to Wolverhampton and the surgeon was happy with his eye and all that's been going on so hallelujah another win we just need to get Colin sorted now and a few other bumps in the road done and we can be rejoicing everywhere let's bring this day to a close the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end Amen our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A moment to reflect on the day and all it has been as we prepare to lay ourselves in our beds. And we come before the Lord thinking of the day and all it's been in the problems the troubles and the failings perhaps as we say most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever amen alleluia before the ending of the day creator of the world we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved. 
in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father God, the day comes to its end, darkness falls, as does the rain. And just as the grass, which looked so dead, flourishes from the rain that falls upon it, this night we come before you and we thank you, Lord, that we, who were dead in our sins, have by the cross of Christ been brought to the hope of eternal life that is made real for us and as the refreshing fall of your Holy Spirit upon us brings us to new life we who though dead now flourish just as the grass does with the rain Father God we thank you for all this day has been and I thank you Lord that I have broken bread, that I have shared the cup with people this day who though shut in, who though no longer able to be church, were church once again in the Eucharist, in the fellowship of one Christian with another. Father God, we give you thanks that we, as believers, we as Christians, Christ's ones, we who, touched by the love of God, the salvific act of God made flesh in Jesus the Christ, and the outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon us, are called beloved, who are counted worthy by the grace of God to be one with Christ and Father we come together as one family different churches different places different views yet one body Father God we thank you that you have called us to be one to serve in unity to share in love to worship the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit in unity with one another. We thank you that unity and wholeness, that shared love and kindness, that prayer for those far off, even perhaps unknown, makes us one like you. And Father, we thank you that we knowing many with needs this night 
those who, like John, will be with us about a few days before the next chapter in his life begins in a different place. That those we know who have been labelled terminal continue to celebrate your love and to share the unity of all that church is. That those we know who are getting older rejoice as a child rejoices before its father. That those we know who have waited so long for the, the appointment that will change and prolong life now rejoice that the heart's been monitored and soon the outcomes and the reasons will be known and Colin, we pray, will be touched and changed by technology, by science, and by all that creation, which means, of course, the Creator has brought into our lives. We pray for those this night we know who have the label dementia spoken as a curse and yet lord the challenges dementia brings if embraced if lived within not in fear but in trust of your love make for a slow and sometimes faltering journey your wholeness your health and your blessing is to be found for those this night who test their callings and we thank you for the next round of seeking vocation and testing that the diocese put on in its course to find readers and priests to find people who will serve in many ways and lord we pray for those testing and considering their vocations this night for those we know with life within them as pregnancy becomes more than a hope and then a reality and then that last moment before the delivery and then comes the joy father we thank you for new life in our families and new life in our church for those who come to understand who Jesus is for them. We pray for those this night who suffer in body, mind and spirit, in situation and circumstance. And we thank you that we can stand with one another. We can rejoice in adversity as well as triumph. So, Lord, as we prepare to go to our beds, we lift to you now the people on our hearts and minds, the opportunities, the blessings, the challenges, the joys, and, Lord, the failures. For in failure comes understanding, and through understanding becomes something that the world calls perseverance for we do not give up we are not beaten we are not bowed down or broken but father god we are overcomers so we pray for those this night that we love that they would overcome their situations as we pray that we in you would overcome all before and within us so let us pause and lift to the Lord those on our hearts and minds, in our thoughts and prayers this night.
and as we go to our beds, may we and those for whom we pray and all creation. So, the reality of the words of the Collects this night. As we pray, visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it the snares, the traps, the schemes, the plots of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us and those for whom we pray and all creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us that we may pray as is right, we come together and pray our family prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thanks for being with us tonight, you beautiful bunch. You who are church, we who are family. Sleep well, be blessed. And tomorrow, may you wake to joy and blessing and peace. Good night, guys. Bless you. Sleep well.